Hey Omis, welcome to Om Yoga. I am Mary Omira. This week's class is a class designated to our heart center. We're going to work the shoulders, front side, back side, and of course the entire body. And this class is focused on re-emerging, not just because I'm back, hey, but because it's going to help us to open our heart to step into what is calling us in our life. All you're going to need for today's class is your body and your mat, and I ask that you subscribe to my channel because this will allow me to continue to make you absolutely free videos. Turn on the notifications bell so you know when all the new stuff drops, and if you want to, of course I'd love it, if you would comment on the videos, let me know what are you loving about the flows, what would you like to see. All right, yogis, let's get started. All right, Omis, we're gonna begin at the back of our mat in child's pose. Go ahead and bring your big toes to touch, knees open wide, allow the forehead to rest down to the floor. And if this is too deep for you, you can always bring your knees closer together. So let's begin class by just checking in with the breath. Notice how it's moving through the body. Does it feel restricted? Or does it flow with ease? And let's go ahead and connect with our breath together. Wherever you are, take a big audible exhale out through the mouth, let it go. Inhale in through the nose. Big breath, let it go. Again, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one, we're gonna inhale in through the nose, but seal the lips. And we're gonna exhale out through the nose. Now we're gonna inhale, lift the forehead up. We're gonna exhale, walk the hands over to the right side of the mat. You can go as deep or as shallow as you want in this. We're aiming for a nice left side body stretch here. So press firm into your left palm. See if you can sit the hips closer towards the heels and this will help to facilitate the stretch into the left side of the body. See if you can get this into your shoulder as well. Continue to breathe. One more inhale. Exhale. And we're going to inhale, lift the forehead up, and as we exhale, walk over to the left side. See if you can take yourself to the same depth that you did, even if it was shallow, on the other side. You may feel it more on one side of the body than the other, and that's okay. So press firm into your right palm, sit the hips deep into the heels, and breathe. One more inhale. And exhale. Then we're going to inhale, come back into our child's pose. Press both palms firm into the hands. See if you can set your hips back a little bit deeper. Pull the belly in. Now as we're going to inhale, we're going to come into our tabletop pose. Wrists are going to come underneath the shoulders. Knees are going to come underneath the hips. We're going to move through a couple cat-cows here. So as we inhale, let's drop the belly, lift the gaze, breathe in. We're going to exhale, press and round into the cat. Chin towards chest. Inhale, back to cow. Exhale to cat. One more, inhale into your cow. Exhale into our cat. Let's continue to press, tuck the toes, and we're gonna make our way into our downward facing dog from here. Take some time in our down dog. Pedal out the feet if we wish. Maybe we wanna stay still. Bringing to the body what it is that it needs. Okay. And then gently come back to stillness if you found movement. 
We're gonna inhale, look to the top of the mat, and as we exhale, let's walk forward into our ragdoll. Feet are gonna come hip distance apart behind the hands. Nice deep bend into the knees. Let's allow the head to hang heavy. And gently grab on to opposite elbows here. I want us to focus on the release of the head. The more we re release the head here, the more we should feel space in between the shoulders. <laughs> like, what if I don't feel it in between the shoulders? Well, you're probably gonna at least feel it in your legs. <laughs> so just breathe into where it is that you feel this within the body. But the deeper the bend in the knees, the more release for the low back we're gonna have here. You can find movement, you can be still. Just keep breathing. And gently come back, release the hands down to the ground. Let's toe heel the feet together here, big toes to touch. We're gonna inhale, come into our halfway lift, fingertips to floor, hands to shins. We're gonna exhale to fold, bend into the knees. Now we're gonna inhale, let's slowly rise to stand. See how slow you can let your head come up here. And once we reach the top, let's roll the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, bring them down. Let your palms face forward for a moment. And then we're gonna inhale, take the hands to the heart center, samasthiti. to he. I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes here, but if you don't wanna do it, don't. <laughs> You can keep them open. Let's just bring the gaze down to the fingertips. But if you feel comfortable, go ahead and close the eyes. Let's slightly draw the chin towards the chest. Pull the belly in here. And let's take a moment to set an intention for our class. And this class is about re-emerging. Maybe we're re-emerging onto our mat. Or maybe there is something that is calling us beyond this space and in this class, we're going to create the space in order to allow that in, in order to allow ourselves to expand. Let's connect with this intention with breath. Big audible exhale out through the mouth. Inhale in through the nose, deep into the belly. Big breath, let it out. Again, in through the nose out through the mouth. Seal the lips. Begin to open the eyes. Release the hands by your sides. Let's flow. We're gonna inhale, let the arms sweep up to the sky. Urbha Hastasana, pull the belly in. We're gonna exhale into our half moon. Right hand comes down the right thigh as the left fingertips reach up and over. You can stay somewhat lifted in this, but if you wanna go deeper, take the hands further down the right thigh. Just continue to press into the left foot as you do. Okay, then we're gonna inhale back through center and switch. Left hand gently down the left thigh as the right arm comes up and over. And again, looking for balance. So wherever we took it on the other side, do so here. Then we're gonna inhale, come back to center, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, chaturanga. You also have the option for cat and cow here. Inhale, upward facing dog. And we're gonna exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the top. Exhale, step, or maybe you add a hop to the top. Big toes to touch. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. We're gonna rise with a flat back this time. Arms sweep up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, half moon to the right. Inhale, center. And exhale, we switch to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Spread the shoulders. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop. Big toes to touch. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we rise. Urdhva Hastasana, arms sweep to the sky. Exhale, half moon. Left fingertips reach up and over. 
Inhale, center, exhale, switch. Right fingertips now up and over. Inhale, center, exhale, we forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa your way to down dog. See how your breath is flowing. Can we stay connected? Okay, we're gonna inhale, take your right leg to this guy. And with our exhale, we're gonna find our lunge. Pause here for a moment. Squeeze the inner thighs together. We're gonna inhale, rise into our crescent lunge. Arms are gonna sweep up here. Couple of options, I'll only walk you through this the first time, then we flow, okay? So you can stay bent in your back knee here, or you can extend it out. Whatever allows you to feel the most strength and connection. Inhale, arms sweep up if they're not there already. Then we're gonna exhale, cactus the arms. Pull the belly in. You can keep your gaze forward, or as you inhale, gaze up. With our exhale, we're going to bring our elbows together. So again, moving through our cat and cow here. We're going to inhale to open, gaze up. Exhale to round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. With our exhale, release your hands down to the ground. Step it back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Second side, inhale, left leg to this guy. Exhale, lunge. Squeeze the inner thighs, get that base going. Now we're gonna inhale, rise into our crescent lunge. Arms up. Find either the bent or straight back leg. Big breath in. We're gonna exhale, cactus the arms. Again, option, gaze forward. Otherwise, inhale, gaze up. Little back bend here. And we're gonna exhale, elbows together. Inhale to open, exhale together. Inhale, open, exhale together. Inhale, open. Now we're gonna exhale, release it down. We'll meet in down dog. All right, omis. <laughs> Y'all catching the theme here? Don't worry if you're not, I'll fill you in. We're flapping our wings like butterflies as we emerge from our chrysalis. Okay, yeah, I know you miss me. I know, the story's all that good stuff. <laughs> Moving on, less instruction, more flow. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, find your lunge. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, gaze up if you can. Exhale, in. Open, close, open, close, open, release it, vinyasa. Second side, left leg to the sky, breathe in. Lunge, breathe out. Inhale, crescent, come up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, gaze up if you can. Exhale, in. Open. Close. Open. Close. Open. And release, let it go. Up dog. Down dog. All right, omis, one more time through. How high can we fly? Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, in. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. We're gonna add on one more. Open, close, open, and release. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. 
last side through. Hope you're having as much fun as I am. <laughs> Left leg to the sky. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, come up, crescent. Exhale, cactus. It's our last thing through. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, round. Open. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. We have one more. How much can we fly? Open. Close. Open. And release. We will meet in down dog. Okay, I'm laughing, I don't know why. We're gonna inhale to look forward. We're gonna exhale, step forward, have a seat. Okay, who's sweaty? <laughs> I hope you are, um, I know I am. All right, so we're gonna move into our core section. I'm gonna offer layers as always. I invite you to pick what fits you most, okay? We're gonna get set for our boat pose, Navasana. If you have back issues, you're gonna stay lifted you also have the option to skip these all together, okay? But I invite you to challenge yourself a little bit. All right, hands behind the thighs. Roll the shoulders back and down. Belly pulls in nice and tight. Lift the heart, and then we're gonna exhale, begin to lean back. Our stopping point is when we feel like we're gonna fall over. Okay, again, option, stay here. Otherwise, we're gonna extend the arms. We are going to move with this. You could do it from here, but it's gonna be easier if you lift. So we're gonna lift the legs. Okay, lift the corners of your mouth, smile a little bit. <laughs> we're gonna inhale, open. Exhale to close. Open, yes, continuing to flat, not flop. <laughs> close, open, close. Although it's okay if we flop after. Open, close, open, close. One more, open. Close, okay, just kidding. One more, we're gonna stay here, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up, did you make it? Okay, go ahead and drop the feet, open the knees, inhale, scoop forward, gaze up. Then we're gonna exhale, back, chin to chest. Again, inhale, open, heart comes up. And we're gonna exhale to round, chin to chest. Okay, continuing on with this open close action here, we're gonna come into our side forearm plank, okay? You have some options here. You can stay, well, you, I'll show you. <laughs> you can stay in full or you're gonna drop to your back knee, okay? Or your bottom knee and stay here, okay? So find where you fit on your mat and feel good, right? And then take your top arm up. Now we're gonna take the top arm behind the head. We're gonna take an inhale. We're gonna exhale, elbow to wrist. Open, close. You're working one wing, open, <laughs> close. Open, close. Again, open, close. Now you're gonna open, extend the top arm up. Hold, five, four, three, two, one, whew, sit down. <laughs> now we're gonna come up and reach over. Breathe into your side body. And then we're gonna switch sides. So whatever side you're on, flip it over. Moving on, okay? Again, find where you were on the other side. So either the bottom leg down or everything lifted. Here we go. Lift it up, okay? Take your top arm up. Take it behind your head, take an inhale. We're gonna exhale to close. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Now we're gonna open. Take the top arm up, we hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and sit down. Let's stretch over to the opposite side now. Hmm, breathe into the side body. All right, coming back. Last thing. Well, we're not done with class yet, but last part of our core section. We're gonna come into our reverse table here. So a couple of options 
for your hands, your wrists, especially if you have more sensitive wrists, you're gonna take your fingertips and point them towards the back of the mat. Otherwise, your palms, well, your palms are down no matter what, but your fingertips are gonna to point towards the top of your mat. We're gonna come into our reverse table here. So we're gonna inhale, lift up. And then as you exhale, can you lift your pelvis higher here? So a lot of yoga has to do with a lot of, um, we're pushing a lot. We don't have a lot of pull. So this helps to work the pull muscles. So press, even though we're pressing, I know, lift the heart, lift the belly, engage the core for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and sit down. You made it. <laughs> we made it. Make your way into downward facing dog. That took three breaths to say. <laughs> it's been a minute, y'all. Okay. Hmm, pedal into the feet here. Hopefully, our body feels more open. Let's get into the hips. We're gonna inhale, take the right leg up. With our exhale, find your half pigeon. If half pigeon isn't accessible to you, come on your back, you're gonna thread the needle. Okay. Take a moment though, let yourself settle into the pose. You can keep your hands in front of you if you wanna get deeper into the heart. Go ahead and walk your hands back. Lift the heart, lift the chest. And then as we exhale, we're gonna fold forward. So you can adjust yourself as you find your way down. So one thing I've always said is, we don't have to be married to the pose. If something doesn't feel right, we move. That's honoring the body. You can lower your forehead down to the floor if you want. Extend your arms forward. Really connect with the breath. Can you slow it down? So the right side of the body is our masculine side, our sun side, and our letting go side. And when we think about transformation, we think about a caterpillar and what it goes through in its own transformation. It goes into its chrysalis and it completely releases every form of being that it's known for its life up until this moment. It doesn't fight it. It surrenders. So how much can we surrender and let go in order to make room to be able to step out, right? Feel the breath. Feel the body. Two more rounds as you are. We're gonna inhale, walk the hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest. We're gonna exhale, come into our three-legged dog. Take your right leg up and over. You can find circles here. You can find stillness. And then we're gonna slowly release back into our downward facing dog. Okay, let's inhale, take the left leg up. We're gonna exhale, come into our half pigeon, or we're gonna thread the needle on the other side here. Okay, so again, take a moment, allow the body to find what fits. And then if you walked your hands back, do so here, lift the heart, lift the chest. And as we exhale, let's fold forward. And still shifting gears as we fold forward if we need to. We can extend the arms forward, lowering down, or we can stay lifted. 
breathing into the left side of the body. The left side of the body is our feminine side, our moon side, and our ability to receive. So again, in this chrysalis, a caterpillar is receiving everything that needs to take place in order for it to become a butterfly. And so what are we being asked to let in, to receive, in order to step into this next phase of our life? And again, it can be something as simple as being on our mat. That's not always easy. A few more rounds of breath. We're going to inhale, walk the hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest. We're going to exhale our way into our three-legged dog. Left leg now up and over. Find your stillness or your circles. And then gently come back to your downward facing dog. We're going to inhale, look forward, exhale, lower down onto your knees. Go ahead and have a seat. We're going to get set for our rabbit pose here. So I've worked this posture into this class because rabbit pose is very calming. It's very good for anxiety, sleep issues, anger issues. And so in this metamorphosis phase, anxiety can creep up, right? So this is going to allow us to take everything that we just opened and really bring it down and into the body, okay? So we're gonna take our thumbs to the outer edges of the feet. We're gonna tuck our chin towards our chest. We're gonna slowly lower forward. We're gonna round the spine, bring the forehead towards the knees. Okay, so the crown of the head is on the floor. See how much you can lift the hips up. Breathing into the back side of the body here. Now slowly keep the chin tucked. Sit to the heels. We're going to rise and then bring the head up. Okay, now getting ready to come down, we're going to extend the legs forward. Go ahead and scoot yourself forward. You want enough space to be able to lay down on your mat here and do just that. All right, once there, draw your knees to your chest, give yourself a squeeze. We're going to come into a very simple twist here. We're going to goal post the arms, drop the feet down. You have the option here to cross your right leg over the left, otherwise just keep both feet on the floor. We're gonna lift the hips up, scoot them over to the right, and then we're gonna exhale and drop them over to the left. Let the gaze fall over to the right hand. A trick that I like to do is to actually take my right palm and place it down towards the floor. And this helps me keep my shoulder connected. So whatever you feel may have been left behind, use this last few moments of class to let it go. Okay, we're gonna inhale, come back through center. We're gonna draw the knees to the chest and we're gonna exhale, take the twist on the opposite side. So if you crossed your leg over, do so here, otherwise, Drop the knees over to the right as we gaze left. And again, left palm towards the floor. This helps the left shoulder stay a little bit more connected.
We're going to inhale, come back to center nice and slow. And we're going to draw everything in. Okay. Now we're going to give ourselves a nice big hug. You're going to draw your forehead in towards the knees. Tuck the chin, take a big deep inhale. And then we're going to exhale into our final Shavasana. Palms face up, feet fall out, eyes close. Allow for your breath to return to normal and for your body to absorb all of your practice and your effort. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll your wrists, your ankles, and gently turn your head from side to side. And as you inhale, extend your arms up, point the toes, full body stretch. And exhale, draw your knees to your chest and find your way to your favorite side. Pause as you use your bicep as a pillow. And in this pause, allow for everything to come back to center. And when you're ready, press yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. Once there, bring your hands to your heart center, gaze down to your fingertips, close the eyes if you can. It's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide today. Hands to our lips, may our words always be kind and true to others, but most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, center of our intuition and divine light, the highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you and together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste. All right, Omis, thank you again for practicing with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to continue to get free videos. Comment below. Let me know where are you looking to spread your wings. I'll see you next time, Omis.